Hi, I'm Alan Williams. Hi, I'm Declan Milton Harris. You're watching AJS TV. Today we're gonna to go through some potluck questions. Should we get stuck into the batteries, shall we? So we'll go. Now, first question. Do you have any pre-match superstition or motivation motivational music? Uh prior yet to having a baby. I listen to some music. I'm trying to get in the zone, but now it's it's changing nappies and trying to get out of the house as soon as possible, really. What about yourself? <laughs> That's long. Um, yeah, I've got to get a drum and bass on, I think, or techno. Uh, a bit of 50 Cent, as the boys love, like Sam James does with 50 Cent. Um, superstitions, not really. I think everyone tapes them as something at this point. <laughs> Josh um, Owen. Josh Owen loves the tapes. Trendsetter. Um, nah, nah, nothing really, to be honest. Next one. <clears throat> Who's the biggest shandy drinker in the team? <sighs> oh, that's an interesting one there. Some of the boys don't even turn up, but yeah. so it's a big one, isn't it? Biggest shandy drinker though for me. Claims he's the whiskey king, mate, but surely he has to go to Adam Jardine, doesn't he? Jardine, terrible swing. Great shout, doesn't he? Terrible swing. For me, absolute caught with his pants down, Jack Jones. Caught drinking 0% zero, zero percent a few times. For me, well, he hasn't lived that down, is he? Shandy be stronger, though, he does. Yeah, I mean, he is, is terrible drinker. Club's full of pool swings, I'll tell you what. Next one then. Who is your club's future rising star? Um, well, if he's still here, that uh, Tate yeah. youngster. Just going to draw again. Yeah. So. Obviously, I refed him a few times at age. age. Uh, good players, a few good players at age. Obviously, don't know by name. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that Tate's pretty good. I haven't had a chance to watch you as much, but I know there's, you know, watching them, like, again, don't know names, but few big, you know, good boys, few big lumps. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the club, yeah, the club's looking good, future's looking good. Definitely. I coached, um, obviously, the 15s and 16s. Um, Scotty McDock, got up to Hart, you know, blow to me, I think. Mm. Like, if he doesn't go far, then I'll do a cut my own shoe off. Like. Mm. Um, do you want to go next one? Or? Yeah. Right, next one. Most physical team you've ever played against? Most physical? Um, Swans Uplands, which was pretty tough. Ever played against, don't it? For me, ever would be Triorchy. Is it? Yeah, we're growing up, Triorchy. Used to drive there, and I remember it used to take ages, and there'd be like skulls on posts <laughs> running down here, there, and, and it was just honestly the worst place. You no, know, you, you never wanted to go there. Everybody, you know, had bad belly and oh, pulled out and stuff true. like that. You know, we'd have a bare 15. Uh, senior teams, can't think of. Uh, to be honest, one thing I'd say, probably Carve Met. Yeah, I think we. Carve Met. They all were massive. Structure, really, they, they were really, yeah. really physical actors. Yeah, all posh, well fed. Literally. Yeah. Just structure. Good, yeah. good. Here we got them. Um, what's the worst injury you have sustained? Um, Name a few. I am Yeah. I, you know, obviously everyone on the team's had a stinger. Yeah. St stinger is up there, but it's going to be my finger, I think. Burger? Yeah. What were both called? What were you on your head then? My shin, wasn't it? Was it? Oh, your yeah, shin, that's shin, one, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. F look at that. What, it's stuck with that? Yeah. Uh, what? I'd probably say that is the... Uh, I think, when did you that? When I was in uni. That's hard. Well, that's the worst. No, that's probably the worst. I've had a few. Obviously, stingers are a of pain. You yeah. know, can't, can't drive and that. But, uh, you know, the club's had, you know, so many stingers. Yeah, you know. Her man is fucking yeah. breaking it in now. Yeah, yeah, he lives off at this he club. He loves a stinger. Moment. But, uh, yeah, I'd probably say my finger. What was yeah. Um, My wrist, probably. Brought my wrist against my stake. Oh, okay. Um, split my eyebrow as well. But I didn't feel that one. Mm. Probably my, my wrist. It was fucking bad. Went into yeah. tackle and got open. Just instant shot, like, so it's rough. Yeah, it's part of it, isn't it? Part of the game, a bit like. Literally. Nice. Win some, lose some, do. 
What's your predictions for the next round of the bowl? Um, full confidence in the boys. Yeah. Right? Full confidence in Team Harris. It's easy one. Stars win. Yeah. Next one. Um, who would be in your ultimate scrum pack? <laughs> the Ooh. stars or in the world? Go stars, is it? Ultimate oh, yeah, pack. Yeah, the stars. They all the pack. They all the pack. They all the pack. Don't put Jip in, that boy loves oh, to swim. Jip's got me, that was that was coming to yeah. uh, Alright. We're going all time, we are. It's a tough one, isn't it? It is tough, very tough. Um, right. Do you do a player by player? So I say one, you yeah, say one. Yeah, yeah. We well, you go one, I go two. two. Go yeah. On. Um, one, um, I probably. Are you going to go Do I back myself? <laughs> Uh, I'll say myself, Deck a bit of Harris. Yeah, right, good, good pick. Two, if I don't see him, obviously it's ah, you down. 20, 20 odd years of friendship <laughs> over, so I'll, I'll have to go with Jip too. Yeah, three, I think you'll have to go with Tom Evans. Oh, yeah, yeah, not going back. No, <laughs> no reverse. It's going down before it goes yeah, back. Right? No reverse mode on him. Um, <laughs> luckily, he's two second rows, so I, I don't have to put myself. I'd probably say. Um, it's good, a lot of good second rounds I played with. In terms of scrummaging, I have to go Brett. Yeah. Obviously, big, big boy. Good. Loves a brisket. Yeah. So, uh, you know, always easier scrummaging with him as opposed to, say, 12 stone of Jardine. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's for scrummaging. Brett, big it's good Brett. Shot. Five. Seems you wasn't going to name yourself Brett. I'll name you. Yeah, I'll so name you. Smile on his face. That was it. Loves Obviously, him. since being a father, put on a good couple of stones, you know, <laughs> mainly for scrimmaging purposes. But, right. uh, All tactical, it wasn't it? That's it. You know, comfort eating. <laughs> uh, six, I probably go. Do you do anything? Six or seven? Do we have a six or seven? Uh, I'm sure we do, to be honest. I'll put them in for weight. Big weight, Dan Carey. Dan Carey. Massive weight. You mint. I put them in for his weight. No line out option. No line out option. Just pay Willie for scrimmage. Seven. Uh, oh. Could have found anyone better than me. Um, it'd have to be for size as well, probably. Sam Gardner. Nice boy. Loves a gym session. Tiny it? beak, yeah. Tiny size on beak. Uh, eight. Tough one, it's club hasn't really got a stand up date for me. No, so, really... for scrummaging, massive unit. I'd have to go to Nile Hamilton. <laughs> I'd have to go to Nile Hamilton. Cousin Nile. My cousin Nile. Sh shunk ball. Yeah, it has to be. As nine. if we've left Conda out, mate. Oh, Conda. As if we've left Conda out the road. He's a, he's a school scrummaging expert. But, yeah, uh, he could go by himself. Yeah, he is a scum, <laughs> but uh, I'd have to go with cousin Nile. Cousin Nile. Family link. That's how stars a uh, pack. Yeah, we look at If you wasn't playing rugby, what other sport would you like to have a go at? Uh, when I retire from rugby, uh, definitely be darts. Yeah. Yeah, I can throw a dart. Uh, nice boy, loves a dart. Yeah, good, good. Uh, I like a dart. Being a darts life. Yeah. Uh, like the atmosphere is great. Would like to replicate the atmosphere down there when I uh, finish playing and join. Do, you do Gary Price? <sighs> Gary Price. Probably, yeah. probably closest to Bull. Yeah. I do him, but uh, you know, in five or one, he'd be close. Yeah. Over yourself, I suppose. Um, I probably have to go some weird, sort of like the cross or something yeah. physical, like so just sort of slam boys, yeah. just get stuck in or like the extent Deacon get in the gym. Then. Yeah, just get a massive like Deacon. Yeah. Big Good job, Good job. Deacon. De 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 de. <laughs> uh, my question: most memorable game you played, good or bad? Ooh, that's quite tough. Um, Cardiff Arms Park was probably up there. Yeah, that was good. Good day. Um, South Gower away in Thai Park Youth. It was a horrendous place to go. Never yeah. forget it because it was just assholes up there. Yeah. Um, or probably Boys School Wales. Yeah, good, good, yeah, good for you. memorable for me. Um, first. See, seen again with the stars. Right. Remember, you know, at the time they were really struggling. Met in your own club in the back room, supposed to be playing for the youth. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I had already turned 18. So, me, Josh Ingfield, Blake Parker, got drafted into the first uh, senior team. 
I uh, played tight back away and it, you know, they were good there. Yeah, yeah, they were good then. Uh, I was always playing forwards yeah. uh, and started at centre. Like <laughs> Here we go! Uh, Josh Ingers was 10, Aris was 12 and I was 13. It's and, a partnership uh, now. Oh, Aris, terrible. I'm terrible. Uh, always, always pushed inside, made me tackle everything. Uh, didn't pass once. It's a shock he doesn't call terrible. you to a little bit. It's a Te- shock. You know, terrible. And, uh, that's memorable and for me I'd also go um Pod to Clean. Brilliant, Shout. yeah, you know, if if the first senior game was was bad, the the Pod to Clean game, great, yeah. great memorable game. Bunting uh, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Fairwater as well, I think everyone yeah. everyone remembered that one. Yeah, for the pitch. Mate, yeah. Honestly, worst scrumming conditions ever. <clears throat> what player position do you fancy yourself at instead of your current one? Upset some people are. Um but, Club struggling for an eight, as I previously mentioned. Really struggling for an eight, maybe eight. Um, in touch, <laughs> see myself as a ten. I, right? I see it in your mid. I see myself as a ten. Obviously, similar build to Sean anyway. Obviously, yeah. Sean's more skinny, fat. Yeah. Um, I'm just all round fat, but <laughs> uh, yeah, eight or ten probably. Mid. Yourself? I agree with that, you. Um, I'd have to go same for eight. Just have a go, Sam Simmons esque. Yeah. Again, we need an eight minutes so. or um, try going up uh, arms not there but still like to have a goal like, Yeah, so. yeah. Other than that, probably back myself twelve. I don't think we've got yeah. a strong twelve yet, either to be honest. Yeah, no. Obviously Chris Lyshon's struggling a bit. Yeah. So yeah. It didn't yeah. got missing, I think yeah. Courtney perhaps an option. Oh, he's gone. So yeah, maybe I think he's a role there for him. Sound it, I mean TJ sign me up. Uh is it true Andrew Aris loves a PowerPoint? He, he absolutely does. He loves the song, Never Forget. He does. But he that. Hashtag rugby for everyone. He, he loves it. Rugby for everyone. PowerPoint for everything. Three teams, one dream. I'd hate to be his girlfriend. Probably does a PowerPoint every, every day. <laughs> like. What's wrong, babe? Oh, let me just uh, yeah, get that uh, through. He, uh, he loves it. It's always the same format and stuff, you know, I think. I don't think he's paid for Microsoft Office. No. I think it's just he's got that one on his, his PC. And he, what, it's the same speech as well to sign yeah. it off, and it's the same photos. Yeah, it's the same. The club, you know, we, I think we lost one game in the last two years. Yeah. And, you know, the club, if, you know, according to his PowerPoint, everything's just rubbish, and you know, it, people in town he's here to Still plenty to go, mate. Yeah. Just, oh, mate oh, he loves the PowerPoint. Recycle banter from Paris. Recycle banter. Next one. Uh, any embarrassing moments on the rugby field? On the rugby field? Yeah. Oh, um, one of them has to be, uh, it wasn't for stars, but playing for a youth team, and uh, a nine picked off the base and happened to bop me. Oh! Uh, it weren't great, yeah. didn't feel my best, but um, yeah, it weren't, it weren't great. Yeah. I don't know, I wouldn't say one like a standout moment. Obviously playing second row, catching kickoffs, drop by, feel like a pillar to yeah. but uh, not like a standout. Mr. Consistent. Yeah, yeah, nothing I think I can think of stands out as like oh I feel like a, a bit of a drip, yeah. yeah. But uh, maybe um one game I injured my glute. Yeah. I know like rolling about screaming, oh my ass, my ass. <laughs> Which, you know what, doesn't, go down, a, doesn't go down as a good uh, memory. <laughs> Jeppy loving that. Jeppy Lander, he was first over to yeah. see to me. Um, at what age did you start playing rugby and how did you get involved in the game? Um, so I was six or seven, I want to believe. Um, uh, my grandpa took me down to play for chorus before I obviously went to Tata. Mm. Played touch rugby, um, got stuck in. Folded at under eight, went up to Thai Bach, played all my rugby and folk through till youth before they came again. But just as soon as I played, to be honest, mm. and the, the intensities, two left feet, I couldn't play football, mm. got no coordination to be honest, so yeah. it, it was just be a big boy, smash the people in. So, yeah, for me, I don't know what age exactly, well, like you said, no seven, eight, it must have been. Yeah. Uh, Abraham Wizards oh, yeah. had a like the young section then, played a bear, like my my dad had never played, you know, it's not like a family yeah, uh, sport type thing. Uh, 
I don't really know how, to be honest, it started. Like you said, rubbish of football. Literally. Um, and I'd, I'd, I remember I didn't love it to start, didn't love rugby. I was on and off. It was one literally. of them, like, pair, you know, quite a fat kid, parents trying to make you do something. Like, you know, literally, but. Uh, <laughs> not allowed to be on the PlayStation all the time, so it's like, do something else. And yeah, just stuck with it, then. Uh, yeah, you just fall in love with the game. Like. And just enjoy it then. Literally. Yeah. Uh, we've got that. Who was always late for team meets before a game? Um, Mitch Ed goes under the radar. He's such yeah. a you know calm guy. Gets, yeah. gets away with it. Too but, calm. Yeah. You know, he never puts in a group. Going to be late. He just comes in and he's there. Slides in. Uh, yeah. I know he's been. He uh, he got to Peter's watch. He, he just manages to he, he slopes in and no one uh, calls him out on it. But Mitch Ed is late a bit. Um, Connor Will is a good one. Last, last one in the change room, the last one out as well. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, most of the boys are pretty good with yeah. the timings, but uh, yeah, one or two. Last one. <clears throat> what do you do to relax? Ooh, shout. Um, it's not relaxing, but gym, get up on the head yeah. kind of thing. Um, Play on the box, on yeah, the Xbox, then, love the Xbox. Fortnite, yeah. I told you, you're going to stuck in the Fortnite. No, I can't. Can't. I Bit of cord, Cord, yeah. I, I'm probably similar to self. Uh, don't get to the gym as much as I did, you know, before, but uh, play. Again, at the time it's all that relaxing, but you know, playing with the baby, yeah. um, take your mind off stuff from work or whatever. Um, Xbox, love it. Massive. Yes, all over the Serial killer. <laughs> uh, mass murderer. In, uh, Kill streaker. In Verdansk. <laughs> and obviously only in Caldera. But uh, yeah. Xbox E. Who's worst with Scotland? Uh, worst player that I've played with on the Xbox of the boys. I'd probably go Ben Evans. Terrible. Yeah, he's Absolute copper lobbies. Yeah. And still can't get a kill. How would you manage that? Oh, terrible bloke. <laughs> uh, you know, the bloke's nearly 40 and he's still on the Xbox. Still on the Xbox. On the... What's he do better than that? Sad. <laughs> Obviously, you know, we know, you know now he's moved to Torna. Yeah. So his wife is uh, struggling a Gif, bit. Gaff, gaff. Yeah. He, he, you know, he's got a dongle, playing off a dongle, but um, <laughs> yeah, Ben, terrible Xbox player. Shocking. Yeah. We just answered you a potluck questions. I've been Alan Williams. I've been Declan Milton Harris. Thank you for watching HSTV.